Hey guys, I'm here today to do my 2014 favorites. I'm just going to talk about everything that I've been loving this year. The first thing that I want to talk about are the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. I have three of them. Um, this one is a pinky color, pink color, and it is called Always Pearly Pink. I really like this one. It seems to really pop really well with my blue eyes. I also have the Eternal Sunshine, which is a nice gold color. And the other one that I have is Amber Rush. It's a good rose gold color, really nice. Um, kind of bronzy, but it doesn't, it definitely has a pink undertone to it. Another eye product that I've been liking this year is the NARS eyeshadow primer. It's really nice under pretty much any eyeshadow. I feel like some of the other eye primers that I've used haven't been as good and just overall I really like this one. My favorite mascara this year has definitely been the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I wear it, I think there's only one color, um, yeah like it doesn't say a color on here. There, I think there's just one option and it's black but I really like this mascara a lot a lot. <laughs> okay I know there have been a lot of eye products in this video but I have another one for you. And I'll have another one after this one. Um, it's the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. How could this not be in the video? I just, oh. You can't not have this in your video. Um, these are all of these shades and they are just beautiful. If you don't have this palette, you need to go get it in your life. <laughs> it has a lot of pinky, rosy shades. It's very nice. The last eye product that I'm going to talk about today is the Maybelline The Nudes palette. Um, I've really been liking this palette a lot this year. I, I haven't had it uh, maybe three months. It hasn't been the whole year, but I've really liked it so far. Um, there are all the colors. I used this in my last video when I did an eye tutorial. My favorite concealer this year has definitely been the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It's just a little stick concealer uh, with a little applicator. I wear the shade 15. I was wearing, I believe it was 10 earlier this year, which you would think that that would be lighter, but this one is actually lighter, and now that it's winter, I have no tan at all, um, I need to definitely wear this color, but definitely really nice. I put it everywhere, even under my eyes. I have it under my eyes today. I like this one even more than the, what is it, the Benefit Erase Paste. I had been using that under my eyes all well, a lot of the year, and then I started using this under my eyes, and I like it a lot more. Like, a lot, a lot more. And this is a lot cheaper. <laughs> my favorite brush this year has definitely been the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It just looks like this. It's really thick, I think is the word that I'm looking for. Um, I love to use this for my foundation or my BB cream, and I also like to use it with the concealer, with my Fit Me concealer that I was talking about earlier, and I like to blend it in. It's just the best brush ever. I love it so much. I would definitely recommend this to anybody who's looking for a good um, foundation or concealer brush. Definitely the one to get. The last makeup product that I'm going to talk to you guys about that I've been loving this year is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and it has just three beautiful shades on it. The one that I use the most is the bronze color and I believe that's called Radiant Life and it's over on this on this side right here. The highlighter in the middle is really nice. I haven't used too much of the face powder that's over on this far side. I'm not sure if it's quite the right shade for me um, <clears throat> and I just haven't found a whole lot of use for it but the bronzing powder definitely like that a lot. The next product that I'm going to talk about is the Nivea Lip Butter. I have it in Raspberry Rose Kiss and Vanilla Macadamia Kiss. I would open this one but it's pretty much empty because I use it every night, but it just comes in a little pot like this and I just kind of smear it all over my lips and I'm good for the night. I like to use this, like I said, right before I go to bed and it just is thick enough to really moisturize them all night long and then by morning I just kind of use a lip scrub and I'm good to go for the day. I have a couple of hair products for you guys that I wanted to talk about. The first one is the Slept In Texture Cream by Sexy Hair. As you can see, I love this stuff. I use it every time, just about every time I wash my hair. And I just like to kind of run it through the ends of my hair and I feel like it just kind of helps me style it. Um, I don't know if I'll repurchase it, but I would recommend it. I also don't know if they make it anymore. I, this is the uh, Short Sexy Hair line and I don't think that they make this anymore, so I just might be out of luck. <laughs> 
The other hair product that I wanted to talk to you guys about is the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. Uh, this is what the bottle looks like. It is quite expensive. If you buy it at Target, it's going to be $30. I found it on Amazon for $15, which is very nice. It's half off. $15 for something that I'm only that I'm only using it once a uh, once a week. Yeah. Um, if my hair was longer, it would be different, but this will last me six months. So $30 a year for a deep hair mask, deep repair hair mask, eh, it's not that bad when you think about it that way. Um, definitely would recommend this, and I've been using it for a while, but I actually have um, a new hair mask that I will try out that's even cheaper, and I hear it's comparable to this one, but if it doesn't work the same, I will be going back to this one. Okay, I have two products to talk about. I don't know if you would consider them makeup products or skincare products. I guess they would be more makeup, but they, they are the Urban Decay Prep Spray and the Setting Spray. I really like both of these. I've tried a lot of other primers. I don't like them. I really like this one. I hate that really silicone-y feeling. Just, I feel like when I touch my skin or my face later in the day after I put the makeup on, it just kind of feels like it's going to slide off. And this gives you a nice, not really like sticky, but a good, I just, I just like the way it works. It's very nice. And then I always use the setting spray when I'm done my makeup at the very end. I just kind of spray that on all over my face and then I'm good to go for the day. Now this is something that I was loving earlier this year, not so much lately because it's more of a summer product, but I still wanted to talk about it, and it was the Tarte Brazilliance Self Tanner. Um, this isn't in the box, but I really liked this stuff. I used it during the summer, and into, into the fall, I went away on vacation to Florida in the fall, so I definitely needed a little bit of this then too. And now it's just, it's winter, and I don't, can't be bothered with it, <laughs> let's be honest. Now my favorite candle this year by far has been the Cinnamon Sugared Donut by Bath & Body Works. I think I have one more just like this in the basement. Um, I have not burned this one yet. I don't know if I ever will. It just, it smells exactly like a Cinnamon Sugar Donut. I was not able to get my hands on this candle in a three wick. This was the only one I could get and it's like the little mason jar and just has the one wick. This was all I could get my hands on, and I think I bought like three of them. I think I bought them out. So yeah, this has definitely been my favorite candle out of all of the Bath & Body Works, which is really the only candle I ever use, or brand that I ever use. Uh, it's definitely been by far my favorite this year, and I hope they bring it back next year. <laughs> the perfume that I have been loving the most this year out of everything that I've been using is definitely the Elizabeth and James Nirvana white perfume. Um, the bottle just looks like this and the whole top comes off just like that. Um, this scent is it's a bit more mature I would say. It's not I feel like it's not for a teenager. I don't I wouldn't picture it on a teenager. But I think for somebody, a woman in her 20s or 30s, as I am in my 20s, I think it's a really good scent uh, to be wearing. The Elizabeth and James Nirvana White Perfume is also something that isn't uh, seasonal specific, which is really nice. I have the Fresh Sugar li Lychee, I can't say that, a perfume that's very, very clean scent. That's not something that I would wear this time of the year, but this is definitely something I could see myself wearing all year round. It doesn't matter what time of the year. It's a bit heavier, so maybe not... I don't know, it still has a little bit of floral undertone. So I really think this was this was a really good perfume to put in your collection if you were looking for one this year. It was more on the pricier side, but I definitely think it's worth it. Alright, I love Al's. And I actually should probably have more Al stuff in this video. I'm kind of questioning myself now and my love for them because there aren't enough. <laughs> I mean, my shirt doesn't have a lot on them. 
this shirt has definitely been a favorite, but I will talk about fashion favorites in a minute. But my favorite out is this guy. How cute is he? He is a TY Beanie Baby. You can see the little tag right here. And he has a Christmas hat. How cute is this? I love him. His little glittery eyes. I hope you guys can see how sparkly they are, but they are so cute. All right, a few, well, maybe not a few, but a, a couple of fashion favorites. It's definitely been this owl shirt as I was just talking about it. And I also have this vest on. I really like this. I bought it earlier this year, um, I believe, from The Loft. Don't hold me on that, though. But they don't sell it anymore. It's on, it was on clearance when I bought it. It has two little zippers right here, which is nice. Um, not really going to keep your hands warm, but you put your phone in there. And then it just has the one zipper up the front. But I like putting this over um, shirts like this and just going out. And if it's too cold, I have to put a coat on. That is what it is. And I wanted to get this vest in navy blue. I figured that was the one color that would go with enough of my shirts uh, that I could wear often. I also have an, this shirt in brown, and that also looks really nice underneath. The last favorite that I'm going to talk about in this video are my Vans. I have been loving these this year. They are just these slip-on Vans and they are in gray. I love these shoes so much. Hopefully you guys can see them okay. Um, I just really like them. I don't know what to say about them. They're so comfy. They go with a lot of clothes, a lot of my clothes at least. And I like to put on a pair of jeans and fold them up just a little bit and then have these on and I think it looks really nice depending on what shirt you have on but you know for the most part it looks nice. I will definitely be wearing these tomorrow. Alright guys those were all of my 2014 favorites just stuff that I've been just loving all year round. I wasn't trying to pick up anything that I just fell in love with. Things that I've really been liking for the majority of the year and using frequently. <laughs> Um, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel down below. I'll leave my Instagram page listed down below. I'll see you guys next week for a new video. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, and I hope you got everything you wanted, or at least some of it maybe, maybe the more practical items. Um, and I hope you have a happy new year, and I will see you in the new year. Goodbye!